Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Prince George's African American Museum and Cultural Center, where we are here in our virtual Pride of Place parlor, where we're celebrating all the things that we love about powerful Prince George's County, Maryland. My name is Jessica Smith Hebron. I'm the interim executive director here at the museum. And today we're joined by a powerful, powerful king. And not only is he powerful, he's positive and he's always present in our county doing amazing things. You can see him walking with the people, marching with the people, helping out our residents. He is a true, true spirit. And his name is Senator Malcolm Augustine. Welcome to you. Thank you so much. Well, let me tell you a little bit about our amazing Senator. Senator Malcolm Augustine originally is from Lafayette, Louisiana, and he's our Maryland State Senator representing the 47th District, where he is currently ser serving on the Maryland Senate Finance Committee. He is a graduate of Harvard University with mm -hmm. a bachelor in government. government. He has extensive business development experience, and he lives with his lovely wife, Lauren, and their two princesses in the terrific town of Chevrolet, Maryland. So during this Pride of Place parlor, we are going to talk about why Senator Malcolm Augustine loves Prince George's County. So let's get started. Are you ready? I know I'm ready. <laughs> okay. So let's start here. Can you tell me a little bit more about how you came to Prince George's County? I sure am. And first of all, thank you so much for having me. I love the Prince George's County African American Museum and Cultural Center. It's just such a, a warm, embracing place. And so I'm just so pleased to be talking to you today. My wife and I uh, came to Prince George's County at this point, uh, like 19 years ago. Uh, okay. Lauren went to the University of Virginia for college, mm -hmm. which brought her basically to the area. So I followed my wife. That's okay. how I got here um, to Prince George's County. We were really fortunate that a friend that we grew up with um, bought a home in Chevrolet. She still is our neighbor. We grew up together in upstate New York. She had mm -hmm. come to the area um, and we followed her to Chevrolet. And we have just loved every minute of being a part of Prince George's County ever since. That's a wonderful story. So this is your time to show and tell, okay? So I would like you to please show and tell for us one picture or an object that you have that reminds you to your personal connection in Prince George's County. You know, Jessica, I'm so glad that you asked me that. I do have this, this picture here. This is a, a, a book that my wife, Lauren, put together. And what this book does is it actually walks through the journey to the Maryland State Senate in 2018. Now she is a scientist by training, um, which I'm so very proud of her and the work that she does at the National Academies of Science, but she's also a photographer. She used to do weddings and all types of things. And she documented um, basically the time that I spent running for office here in Prince George's County in District 47, as we spent time with the different folks and those memories are in this book. She memorialized this book, that time, that run that, that we spent um, working to get to the Maryland uh, General Assembly to represent the people of Prince George's County. Man, that is so powerful. And I love how your wife supported you and your family supported you every step of the way. I am so excited to see those pictures. I see that there's some family pictures in there and pictures of the residents. You know, that book is like a history book now. You know, uh, thank you. And I, and I, you know, it's I, I am so proud of the, the pictures, the, the inclusiveness that's in it. And mm -hmm. so I'm happy to share. And, and that's why I really I really am proud of it and proud of uh, being able to be a part of representing the people of um, Prince George's County that I really love. And you should be. So here's another question for you. Where is your favorite place in Prince George's County? So this is a great question, and it's not an easy one. Okay. So what I'm gonna what but said so, but but what I am gonna answer is one a place that is actually pretty iconic in in Prince George's County, and that is at the Peace Cross, which mm -hmm. is in uh, it, it is right there in Bladensburg, Maryland. Yeah. Um, and it represents 
very close to the museum as well, as you well know, it's just very close next two towns over. Um, but you know, it represents a place of unity actually for mm -hmm. the uh, for the entire county. It is iconic in the country actually. Mm -hmm. It memorializes World War I veterans. And uh, a little known fact that people don't necessarily know is that there are African-American names on that as well. Mm -hmm. So it, it includes uh, African-American service members who um, gave maybe the ultimate sacrifice in World War I. And, and so to me, it is just an iconic piece of Prince George's County. It's one of the things that people see as they're coming in on Bladensburg Road from Washington, D.C. It's one of the things that they see that is there. It, it meets at the historic um, uh, revolutionary uh, town of Bladensburg. And so mm -hmm. for me, it's just a really unique place. It's also a place that's very close along the Anacostia River, which has really great memories for me because my family, we ride bikes uh, along the river. There's a beautiful trail there that now connects all the way down uh, the Anacostia River into Washington, D.C. Just a wonderful um, uh, park that is there uh, as well. And so for me, that is uh, the most special place in Prince George's County. Oh, this is so wonderful that you discussed this. And the reason I say that is because um, when I was growing up, I had a sixth grade teacher, Miss Jenkins, and she made us do a video project. And this is before all the fancy cameras. This is like the big, you know, uh, camcorder. And right. we had to do a, a project on all the historical sites in Prince George's County and Peace Cross is one of the places that we had to visit. Um, and so everyone who is listening to this broadcast, please, 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 please check out Peace Cross. And I want you to do the research. Your homework is, I want you to identify the African-Americans. Since we're talking about African-American history, I want you to talk about and identify the African-Americans who are on, uh, that are memorialized on Peace Cross. And then when you're done with that, swing on over to Bladensburg uh, Waterfront Park. There's bike trails, there's, there's there's um, water activities that you could do. It's just a wonderful, wonderful time where you can still social distance, but explore all that Prince George's County has to offer. And might I add, Jessica, that then after they finish with that, they can just go the extra five more minutes and come by the museum, which is literally uh, within five minutes. So listen, when you come to the museum, I have something for you to do. We are still closed right now uh, due to COVID-19 precautions, but I have something that we're going to call a park and pick. So you're going to park your car and we have a big giant mural that says our roots are revolutionary. And I want you to park your car, put on your mask, take a picture, a selfie, you know, kind of like this. Take your, let's see, can you see it? Take the <laughs> selfie next right. to, um, in front of the mural where it says our roots are revolutionary and um, make sure that you tag us at P-G-A-A-M-C-C uh, at PGAMCC so that we can see you celebrating your history and culture. So see, all kinds of fun things to do, even though we are staying at home. Thank Absolutely. you. You gave us a, 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 our full weekend. You just planned our full weekend. There we go. So, okay. Our next thing is I want you to look into your magical crystal ball. And I want you to look into the future and, you know, you are the future of Black history. We all are. But what does Prince George's County look like 20 years from now? I think of Prince George's County and I just think of just tremendous, tremendous potential for one. Mm -hmm. But I also think there are tremendous treasures that we already have. So mm -hmm. I think that I always look at Prince George's County as a demonstration of and has the potential to demonstrate just the power of what African-Americans can do. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that it can be an absolute beacon. I see 20 years from now that Prince George's County is a beacon for African-Americans across the world. It's a mm -hmm. place where we have the culture, where we have um, education, education and educated folks, including Bowie State University, University of Maryland, College Park. Mm -hmm. um, we have our museums. They'll be thriving uh, 20 years from now. We have opportunities for, for, um, for employment. Um, and so... That, that's what I see in Prince George's County 20 years from now. It'll be a place where people, particularly African-Americans, who will feel like, um, you know, this is a place that is home. And yeah. it's not an exclusive thing. I'm not trying to say it's an exclusive thing. So one of the real draws for my wife and I, why we really wanted to raise our kids in Prince George's County, 
is because we just wanted our kids to just be kids. Like, yeah. Not the black kids, not the smart black kids, which they are. They are very smart black kids. I just, we just wanted them to just be black kids. We mm-hmm. just wanted them to be able to um, not be judged by anything other than what they do. Yeah. And that's one of the things that, and that's for everyone. That applies to everyone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm so proud of our African American heritage, but I'm also proud of our other neighbors of different hues. And the fact that we all live together here, okay, and that we can do that. So I would still want to envision that for the future, but that it is a place where African Americans feel whole, feel yes. whole, and that they um, and that they don't have to always be looking over their shoulder or concerned about what somebody may be thinking about them, other than just who they are. That yes. for me is what is what Prince George's County looks like twenty years from now. I think that's a great vision and I'm naming it and claiming it that I know that every day um, people like yourself are working to make that a reality. And we are asking everyone to please make sure you go out and vote, complete your census so that you can be a part of making this that this amazing vision that we have for Prince George's County and for the whole world to make that our vision. So even though absolutely. Uh, uh, Senator Malcolm Augustine is working um, at some of the highest levels to make that happen, we as residents have that power too, to do it with our vote and completing our census. No question about it. There is no doubt about it. And I fully support exactly what Jessica, you just said. You, This is the power that each of us has and each of us must, rec- uh, must recognize and exercise. Recognize and exercise. I like that. Hold on. Wait a second. I think you have just become tweetable. (laughs) Wait a minute. I think we got it. We've got to recognize and exercise. No question. (laughs) Did you know, you know, did you know that you were a rapper too? No, 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 no. no. Definitely not one of my talents. You got to know what you can do and what you can't do. Yes. So yes, we've got to recognize and exercise our vote. Get it, everyone? All right. So make sure you That's recognize it. and exercise on um, voting day and census day and make sure you take no. a friend with you. Okay. No question. So now our final question is this. What I would like you to do is I want you to imagine, um, actually summarize our beautiful Prince George's County into three powerful words. What words would you use? Uh, Jessica, I think I would use two. And okay. Those t- those two words would be Wakanda forever. Oh my goodness! I think that's wonderful. Can you explain a little bit more why you picked those words? Absolutely, I can. You know, most everybody has seen the movie. We've all seen the movie, and we've we've seen the scene um, when T'Challa is coming back, and you see the beautiful savannah. And mm-hmm. You see that you see uh, what it is, and he says, "This never gets old." Mm-hmm. And then it opens up, and you see the beautiful city that yeah. is Wakanda. Yeah, and you see the 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 excellence, the expertise that not everybody knows about, and right. not everyone acknowledges. They look at the folks from Wakanda, and they may just look down on them. They having no idea mm-hmm. of what, who they are, what they're capable of, and the strength that they have within them. But they yeah. know the strength that they have within them. Yeah. They know who they are. That, to me, is what I want. That's what I see potential for Prince George's County. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. And you know what? I want to add to that. Not only do they know who they are, people from Wakanda know who they are, but they also know, and this is very important, where they come from. And Absolutely. that is, you know, the name of this uh, broadcast is the Pride of Place Parlor. And the mm-hmm. reason that we created this is because we want to make sure that people are proud to be from Prince George's County, that they know their history, that they know where they come from, specifically that the history of the towns. And we're doing all kinds of work at the museum behind the scenes and things that are about to, to launch to let, to make sure that people are celebrated in whatever town, city or municipality that they live in. So they can say, yes, I'm from Prince George's County and I'm representing, you know, Chevrolet or I'm representing Akakeek or I'm representing Fort Washington. I don't want to call out all the places because I always started. Right. 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 
please know that we represent, we're not just for one place or another. We are the county's museum, the Prince George's County, the Prince George's African American Museum. And that means that we're representing every single city, town, and municipality, representing that Black history in all of its diversity, because it's not just one thing. Absolutely. And, and so now, it's time for my favorite part of the program where we are going to say our affirmation. So uh, we and, and, and um, Senator, I would like you to lead us in this affirmation. What's going to happen is um, you're going to say the affirmation and everyone who's watching and listening. I want you to repeat it three times for good measure. Are you ready? So, I am. so Prince George's, what are we? We are Wakanda forever. We are Wakanda forever. Wakanda. We are Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. We are Wakanda forever. We are Wakanda. We are Wakanda forever. forever. Yes. We are Wakanda forever. Let's close it, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Rest in peace to our, our dear brother Chadwick Bozeman. Black yes. Yes. Forever. yes. Forever. We thank everyone for watching this. Wait, can you guys see it now that we have the Yes, there we go. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for uh, participating in today's Pride of Place Parlor. Senator, you were a true delight. And thank you for sharing all of your wisdom with us today. Well, I'm so grateful, like I said, for the work that you all do, Jessica. And it's just such a wonderful, wonderful treasure that we have um, at, at the museum. I'm really looking forward to when we do all get the chance to come back in and just thank you so much for all the work that you do. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Okay, everyone. Well, we'll see you next time on our next virtual Pride of Place Parlor. We want you to remember, remember, remember to stay Prince George's Proud. We will see you the next time. Check out www.pgaamcc.org for all of our virtual tours and programs. Make sure you go out and vote. Complete your census. You got all kinds of homework. Go vote. Complete your Absolutely. Time. Check out Peace Cross. Check out Bladensburg Water Park. Check out the town of Chevrolet. And what else? Is there anything else that they're supposed to do? You <laughs> covered it all. You got oh, it. Yes, yes, yes. And then you can step on over to the museum briefly and take a quick selfie at our We Are Our Roots Are Revolutionary mural. Don't linger, but you can take a picture and please tag us at PGAAMCC. Thank you to Senator Malcolm Augustine for all your work. And we'll see you next time. Okay? Thank you, thank you so Bye -bye. much. All right.